ultimate equality. And an insecurity inflamed but petty ego drove you like some vile moth toward the hot media lights. You will get to enjoy an eternal unconscious respite in utter darkness near absolute zero. The greed that drives you to such heights during your short selfish life will abruptly end. Afterwards, others will briefly find new baubles to live for, but you won't be aware of them. The effect of the big lies you spread will quickly recede to the cosmic background level. You will feel nothing of that and neither will you ever be conscious of anything at all again. The power you wield now shall be taken from you at the very latest, just at your passing. Not to worry, that nagging need to power shall disappear along with all the rest of your venal thought. You won't be punished for scamming them with bogus heavenly insurance for their fictional souls, for neither you nor your foolish flock shall dwell anywhere any longer for any time at all. Now your too clever loopholing earns you a fortune and the respect of your one-track peers, but there'll never be any more overcomplicating obfuscation down in the fine print for you. You avoided any contemplation of the infinite for your entire superficial yet hollow life. You will have no need of thought and no mechanism for thinking, and you will not even know. So you died with the most stupid toys, and yes, you actually did win this lame, rigged game. But there will be no smirking, smirking happily ever after as your lifeless dust dilutes in outer space. You fulfilled the most sacred and holy of trysts and brought forth the next generation. Yet none will perceive the eternity after all life on earth ends forever along with our sun. You proved war was inevitable and wasted absurd, unquestioned sums proving evidence. You won't even see you have no real weapons, no enemies to demonize and nothing to protect. You called yourselves masters of the universe and just knew you were the best and the brightest. That vain perspective will silently implode as you spiral into the abyss of ultimate equality. You made bribed deals, exaggerated claims, omitted details, and hid in locked compounds. The suffering of your long disease was but a prelude to your infinite sentence to nothing. You mindlessly wasted, destroyed, polluted, and consumed as much and just as fast as you could. Now, be spread randomly for unimaginable eons by the cosmic systems you so carefully ignored. You stood under lights delivering their script, usually even believing the nonsense that you read. Darkness shall bind you, silence will fill you, and emptiness shall be your eternal state. You trumpeted traditional family values, preaching that regulation would cost them jobs and money. You will not be greedy. You will not be scheming. You will, like me, simply not be at all. Your schedule will still contain important items you just had to do, but whose time never came. Soon there will be no pressuring deadlines or overcommitments, yet certainly, very certainly, never any boredom. You stepped on them and kicked them down, backbiting and ass-kissing to that corporate apex. But the incessant greed-blinded insecurity driving you will be lost in infinite dreamless sleep. Surely the simple faith of your lifelong poverty will at last receive its just and everlasting reward. Yea, for it is certain he must never again endure suffering, grief, tears, pain, hunger, or anything at all.